Welcome back. So, this might be the craziest mail day that I've had so far. Um, this was one deal, one very large deal. And it basically came about because I bought one item from a seller on eBay. We'd gone back and forth on price, finally came to an agreement. And I think it was a good price for both of us. And after the fact, I reached out to them. And I said, look, this is what I PC. It was actually, the item I purchased happened to be a, a Morris Arnovich autograph from 1939 on an envelope with other Phillies players. I said, look, here's my main PC. It's Mo Berg, Hank Greenberg, um, Morris Arnovich, basically Jewish players, um, pre-war, and then obviously Rosen, Koufax, and started the conversation there. So then you switch the conversation over to text messaging, because he had a few items. And I could see from some of the other listings he had on eBay, there was already some items I was interested in. Um, and so we went back and forth, and... Eventually, we made a very, very large deal. I think the most I've ever spent on one deal. But I got a lot of items. I got a lot of absolutely amazing items. And again, this is one of those situations where I spent a lot of money, but I spent a lot of money after I had made a lot of money in sales. So, actually, a lot more than what I spent. So... In honing this collection down, I've been selling other stuff. That has freed up a lot of money to both put in the bank account and also reinvest some of those proceeds into just absolutely mind-blowing items for the PC. So, let me start off light and we'll get into some of the things that I can't believe are in this particular, in my collection. So starting off, we have a George Burke original photo of Morris Arnovich. And you'll notice in the background as I go through these items, these are the notes on the envelopes I received from this particular seller. Very nice, very organized, fast shipping, absolutely phenomenal deal. Nice Hank Greenberg auto on an index card in red. JSA authentication. And you got not one. Hank Greenberg auto in black. Not two. But three Hank Greenberg autos on index cards. These are very inexpensive, so it's just the volume of some of the stuff here. So that's just to warm you up. Let me get into some of the other items. As I shift things around off on the side. I also bought a piece of paper. But this little piece of paper is a piece of Moberg's stationery. correct address and given the other items I purchased it does make sense that that is a piece from a piece of stationery um, that he used nice original photo of Berg I'll paste an album This is a, I believe it's 1933 Washington Senators. And from Oberg, right up here. Nice original Type 1 photo. American League Champions. And you got just you know, Sam Rice, Goose Goslin, Al Schacht, another player. 
I think it was a coach, um, Joe Cronin as a player manager. I mean, you just have just a huge amount of players on here. Uh, Buddy Meyer, another player for the PC, obviously Mo Berg. Um, and yeah, just amazing, amazing type one photo. Uh, their team photo. Uh, this was thrown in for free, so I wasn't going to fight them on it. That's nice original. Berg photo, 19, 1933 picture, and then this photo is a free throw-in, comes from Moberg's estate, printed later on, and owned by his family. So yeah, this is, this person happened to get some access to some estate items. Um, unfortunately, I was able to connect with them. All right. Next up, we got a little small photo. This is Morris Arnovich. This is from 1935, so it's an early photo. Obviously, it was kept on record. Paper noting that he was deceased. Probably printed later on, probably printed used when he was deceased. And this is a nice Jim Levy photo, Hollywood Star Associated Press photo, 1935. And now we're getting to some other photos. Before we get into the real meat of basically this whole purchase. Alright, so starting off, nice Hank Greenberg batting, not marked, a nice clear photo. These two are really interesting ones. So 1945. Hank Greenberg, Ted Williams. And we just come back. I'm sorry, this is May of 46. Two phenomenal hitters talking about hitting, talking about the war. Who knows? And for later that same season, there's Greenberg and Williams again. Original photos. and happy to add those. All right, so as promised, we're gonna get into the meat of this now. So starting off, 1948, multi-signed Cleveland Indians, Bob Feller, Hank Greenberg, and I'm sure there's other guys, I know there's other guys on there, I just can't tell the names. Don Black. Yeah, basically bought it for, obviously, the Greenberg. Here's a nice early Greenberg SIG. This one he actually had listed on eBay. And we rolled it into this particular deal. Later Greenberg SIG. This one's dated May of 1950. This one is a 
Later Sig from 1948, according to the reverse side. There. This is a nice magazine photo. So this looks like it was probably early 1939. Roster was announced. So roster of Detroit Tigers 1939. Earlier type SIG on the front. And this looks to be like an incredibly early signature. Chief Hogseth, Hank Greenberg. Don't find many sigs like that. Next up, you got a couple of 46 Tigers multi sign. You got George Kell up top and Hank Greenberg. And then a couple of other players. And you got some on the back. That's 146 Tigers. And then you got the kind of smudged Greenberg on this one. Socks for 46 with Bobby Doerr up top. And the last one, another signature you don't see much. And Hank Greenberg sick there. And Red Miller. All right. Now the we're gonna get to the main pieces now. Slowly building you up to all these items. So starting off, we have undated. This is from 1954. Roberg sign check. on that another check made out to someone we've all made checks out to at some point a gentleman by the name of Cash it's August of 46 and then what's kind of increasingly hard to find is one from the war years 1943 another signed check three Moberg sign checks and then the last item is absolutely falling apart but it's something incredibly unique it's falling apart to the point that the cover comes completely off but if you look on the front that is the Nameplate stamp from Oberg. This is a book from his library. And the fascinating part of this <coughs> is it's not just any book. It's a book on modern philology. And that is the study of linguistics in historic texts and Berg as a linguist as uh, someone who studied linguistics who is known for speaking languages having a book on this particular subject and having his notes in here because you go Celtic <laughs> and 
some of his references and notes in here is absolutely fascinating. And it's just one of those things where you just you go through it and I'm trying to gently go through it. I might actually have this rebound um, in, a, in order to preserve it. Um, as long as I can price it out and get a somewhat reasonable deal on doing that. Um, but it's just a fascinating kind of glimpse into the mind of a, a genius. And it's not overly annotated. It's the little thoughts of remember, you know, basically the type of notes you put in, to, in the margins to basically remember where to go. Um, what other materials that you need to reference. Um, what were your thought process, what were you thinking of when you were going through it. So, obviously the the boards have completely come off. I do have a piece of the spine for it. Um, it's just it flaked off in transit. But to be able to own a book, especially on this particular subject from Berg's library is absolutely tremendous. And I'm just, I'm thrilled to have it as part of the quite now unique and extensive PC. Um, but yeah, this was one seller. Had all these items. Was able to add three more uh, Moberg autographs. Thirteen Greenberg autos of various stages in his career. Multiple Type 1 photos and just absolutely fascinating of just all different Jewish players. It's just been just an absolute thrill to kind of sort through all these items and kind of take in some of the history of especially Berg and, and having a book from his library, something that he spent time with and flipping through and, and writing um, writing in the margins and, and getting a glimpse into his thought process and um, having his hand re write these and having Greenberg you know sign all these items and some of the type 1 photos um, you know, the greatest hitter of that particular era um, in in Ted Williams so we'll just kind of have a whole mishmash of things I'll put up here and there's just a lot of stuff and a lot of absolutely fantastic stuff I never thought I would be fortunate enough to add to my collection so that is definitely all I got for you this time around is I don't know if I can handle any more items and I know my wallet can't handle any more items to go through in this video so I thank you very much for joining me and please remember to collect what you enjoy and enjoy what you collect and don't let anybody especially the market or a youtuber dictate that to you most importantly have fun and have fun by being active in this community so find your way of participating whether it's making videos, watching and commenting, going to live streams, group chats, going to LCS or local card show, or simply talking about the hobby with family and friends. The more you put into it, the more you'll get out of it. The more you'll learn, the more your peace you'll grow, the more people you'll meet, and the more fantastic friendships you'll form. So I thank you very much for joining me. I hope to see you again. Have a good one. And bye for now.